the assault class and the damage dealer in the group. When in combat, use the lightning gun to deal great damage. Lightning can also chain attack groups of enemies. Place arc mines for an ambush or close fight, but keep in mind they take a few seconds to arm. The assault rifle is great at long range. Continue to press the fight with assault by using the personal shield. Wait until the monster is attacking, then activate it for temporary invulnerability. Use your lightning gun as much as possible. It's the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. When the battery runs out, start deploying arc mines. Arc mines should be hidden out of sight, in bushes or at the tops of cliffs. However, during combat, place your arc mines in the open for teammates to retreat to if they're in trouble. Switch to your assault rifle while you are trying to get close enough to use the lightning gun. Don't trigger your personal shield too early. Your medic can heal you back to full health while you're shielded, so don't be afraid to take a few hits before activating it. You can still trigger your personal shield after being in-capped. Use it to keep the monster from finishing you off and give your medic a chance to get you back on your feet. Hyde is the assault class and the damage dealer in the group. The flamethrower deals heavy damage at close range. Use the minigun to rapidly inflict damage at long range. The toxic grenade can be used to flush the monster out of an advantageous area. Remember to use the personal shield. Possible. When the monster is too far for the flamethrower, switch to your minigun. The flamethrower is your most powerful weapon, as well as the most visible. When a teammate is in trouble, use that to your advantage. Light the monster up and force it to retreat. Use your minigun to exploit holes in the monster's armor. Remember to get close to the monster. The minigun has more range than the flamethrower, but not by much. Don't trigger your personal shield too early. Your medic can heal you back to full health while you're shielded, so don't be afraid to take a few hits before activating it. A good monster will hide around corners and try to fight in areas where it has an advantage. Use the toxic grenade to flush the monster out and force it to fight on your terms. Toxic clouds will slow down allies. Be careful where you throw your toxic grenade, especially if the monster is trying to escape. Throw your toxic grenades on in-cap teammates. The extra damage may be enough to drive the monster away before it can finish them off. Carnell is the assault class and the damage dealer in the group. The Super Soldier ability increases fire rate and movement speed at the cost of health points. The Combat Shotgun is a fully automatic, short-range damage dealer. The Multi-Fire Rocket Launcher is also fully automatic and excels at long-range combat. Remember to use the Personal Shield. of your super soldier ability. Trigger it in open areas where you have clear line of sight and plenty of room to dodge around. Try not to get knocked down as you'll lose valuable seconds recovering instead of dealing damage. Remember that your super soldier ability comes at the cost of some of your own health. Pair up with a good medic. Get up close with the combat shotgun and when out of range, switch to the multi-fire rocket launcher while repositioning. 